Hello, hello. Machine tools topic came up. I'm gonna focus on the ladies right now. I got all these to go. All I need is a motor. And I keep my eyes open for motors. And I have these interesting guys here. Ready to go, just where are you? Just needs a motor as well as this one. Which has some interesting attachments for it. Oh, that's another, that's a, <laughs> out of a CNC machine, it's a spindle. Gotta get that going and use it for something. This little red lathe has a attachment, a milling attachment to it. All set to go, just need a motor. Big massive indexing head, huge thing. That's like several hundred pounds for sure. All right. <laughs> then I have a plate down here. That these things get bolt onto. I think it was 400 pounds, the plate. A couple inches thick. And then I got little lays like up here. I call them jeweler lays. I got lots of those too. And I'm focusing on lays. I got the Elgin running, so I'm going to show that off running. I've been interested in machine tools. Oh, ever since as a kid. My first lathe was a Warner and Swayze vintage turret lathe. Flat belt pulley system. Had that for quite a while. I sold it off when I moved and got into more common lathes, kind of, if you want to call it that. So. Well, okay, so. I don't know, I'll see where we're going, so. Let's go there. I might. Hand off right a milling machine. Another milling machine. Let's see if I can walk with this plugged in going back here. So I don't know. Another indexing head. George Hathaway. I traded metal samples for that a long time ago. This one's a great lathe. Big fella. 8,000 pounds. Another way all set and running. Walking along here, dragging this cord. Oh, stuck. Typical. Yeah. Oh, I have to put it down. Hey, Mark. Found out. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay, what a boring video this is, huh? Key operator lathe, too. Very heavy, very strong, very big. A drill press system here. <coughs> <coughs> That's the one I repaired the other day. I put a new motor in the base of it, but I didn't remove the old motor. Nothing is disturbed or changed. So, got more cord here. Wow. <clears throat> hmm, might have to plug it in. A really had it you know <laughs> oh well we'll put it down you know it's a stupid way to film anything but oh well oh well I just film my face a little bit of that so This thing runs pretty true. When I tested it, the dial indicator and that kind of thing. It's controls at the back here are really cool stuff. And tighten up things here. Very addressable. 
So it's very hard to hold this and do stuff, but I'll try. So I'm running, I got a piece of steel and I'm testing it. So turn it on. First cut line. Perfect. Wow. <laughs> And I have, for this guy, I have all kinds of attachments down there as well as up here. Extra tail stocks, extra compounds, mini lays, and other things up there. Indexing heads, everything you could ever want. Extra set of compounds and Yeah, well, okay. Very hard to film with this stupid thing. More lays and shapers and attachments and lays and... Oh, what I got up here. Oh, yeah. Parts and pieces. Put the shelf up here. The parts and pieces go up there, as you can see. Now, this guy works perfect, actually. Very nice. And I have an extra tail stock, and I have an extra compound. A couple of them, actually. A bunch of them, actually. I'm going to do all kinds of things with this fellow. But anyway, i got lots of ways. I forgot how many I have. <laughs> but I'm going to turn this off and uh, try it try something.